Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a diptych image in Photoshop. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and today we're gonna to show you how to take two separate photos and then combine them into one piece of art, which is called a diptych. You'll be able to download this sample PSD on flurn.com and insert your own images for a nice quick way to show off your photos to your friends and family. So here in Photoshop, we're gonna go ahead and open up our two sample images here. Let's hit open. And I just wanna make them a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna hit Control or Command minus to zoom out. There we go, this way I can see everything that I'm doing. And my first step is to use my move tool. And we're just gonna click from one image and drag to the other. There we can go. And you'll see that it just basically copies your image from one document to another. And then we can go ahead and close this. By the way, you can download these sample images on flurn.com so you can follow right along, or you can just get the template and insert your own images. So we're gonna hit F4 full screen. And the first thing I wanna do is create a new layer. So we're gonna go down here, just create a new layer. And I'm gonna use the rectangular marquee tool. We're just gonna make a selection right here in the middle, just like that. It actually doesn't matter where you make it, you can move it at any time. So we're just gonna go to edit and then down to fill, and then we're just gonna to choose to fill this with white. Let's hit okay. There we go. Now we want this to divide the document completely in half. So whether you're creating a square document, a portrait style, a landscape document, any type of document you want, you just wanna make sure you get a vertical line there. So let's go ahead and just say, I put the vertical line right over here, just to give you the example that it's not exactly centered. It's actually very easy to center this. All you have to do is hit Control or Command A, which selects your entire document. You can see I've got a bounding box around my entire document. And then with the layer selected that I have that white line, simply go to your move tool. And then up here at the top, you can align this to the center and it's gonna align to the center of the selection. So if I click there, you're gonna see it aligns to the center of the selection, which is basically just my entire image. So now you have that perfectly centered. Okay, now it's time for the rest of our border. I'm just gonna create a new layer here I'm gonna to go to my marquee tool again, and then we're gonna go ahead and make a selection on the inside here. There we go, that looks really nice. Let's just go to select, we're gonna to go to inverse, and then I'm gonna to go to edit, down to fill, and we're gonna to choose to fill that with white. Fantastic, so now we've got a nice border for our two different photos. So all we have to do now is place our photos together. So let's say I want this photo to be on the right hand side. We're just gonna go ahead and put that right there. And in this case, you can see a little bit of this photo is peering into the left side of the document as well. All we have to do is create a layer mask. So let's go to our marquee tool. We're gonna go ahead and select right around the right hand side of this image. And then making sure we're clicked on the right layer, we're just gonna click on the layer mask document. And there we go, it's perfect in the layer mask. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this background layer. We just have to double click the background layer to turn it into a regular layer. And then I can use my move tool to just move this over to the left. Now, don't forget you can transform these. If you hit Control or Command T, if you wanna make things smaller or larger, let's say you wanna really focus in on just their faces, you could do that as well. And it's all gonna stay within those bounding boxes. Now, one thing that's nice for this image on the right-hand side, you can see the layer and the layer mask by default are linked together. That means if I move the layer, the layer mask is gonna come with it. That's not what we want. So I'm gonna unlink the layer and the layer mask. That allows me to move just the layer around and you can see the mask stays in the exact same place. So this helps us put the image exactly where you want in your diptych. And that's all there is to creating a diptych in Photoshop. Don't forget you can download the sample PSD on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. And my suggestion when you're choosing images for your diptych is to choose images that are kind of similar. Maybe they help tell the same story. In this case, we have two photos some are in the same photo shoot. They really go together and you can kind of see more of the story with both of those images side by side. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone.